Today I'm in Seoul, Korea at the War Memorial. It was established to remember the Korean War and to symbolize the desire for a peaceful reunification of Korea. I'm just standing in the middle of the Korean War Veterans Nations Monument and it's quite a sight. There were 21 different countries that helped come support Korea during the war. And this was built to pay tribute to the sacrifice and devotion of the veterans who fought for the freedom and peace of Korea. A lot of the soldiers didn't really know much about Korea and they didn't know who they were fighting for. So that's pretty brave if you ask me. Just standing in the middle here, it's actually quite amazing. I'm sure inside it's gonna be probably a lot to take in. Upon entering the building, you'll first walk through the Memorial Hall. It's a beautiful exhibit dedicated to the memories of patriots involved in past war efforts. The first floor features a history of war from prehistoric times up to the Korean War. Military remains, relics, and documents are on display. Among them are fortress models, war and victory records, ammunition, the turtle ship, and other military vessels from the Joseon dynasty. The memorial also features information and artifacts from the Vietnam War and the implication of Korean dispatch to Vietnam, what the Korean troops were mainly engaged in during the war, and the tactics of the Viet Cong, the Gulf War, and others. It took me about three to four hours to explore the whole place. But honestly, looking back now, I wish I spent even more time to take even more of it in. The outdoor exhibit is impressively large. The lot is covered with vehicles from World War II, the Vietnam War, and of course, the Korean War. I walk through rows upon rows of tanks, field artillery, aircrafts, armored cars, guns, warships, and submarines. Now, I've never really been a big war or history buff, but this place does a really good job at showcasing all the wars that Korea's fought throughout the years. But with the tensions rising so rapidly in the Korean Peninsula, it's a scary thought to think that this place could one day add more weapons, showcase even more wars, and highlight even more deaths. That would be a huge shame, because there's already so much on display here. But I suppose only time will tell.